48 hours of violence will take weeks to clean up in this township. Here in the east of Johannesburg, a protest over a lack of infrastructure like running water and electricity quickly spiraled into attacks on foreign migrants and their shops. There's little left. South African Sylvia Shabango has been renting out her shop to Somalis who were chased out. Her livelihood has been affected. I feel bad, especially they are like my children. I know them very well now. So it, it's not good at all. In a matter of hours, an estimated 400 migrants were driven out of this township. All their belongings were looted, scattered and frightened. They are now on the run, homeless. Petrol bomb. I was petrol bombed. Two men came to my shop as if to buy cigarettes, but they attacked me. I tried to take off my burning clothes, but it was too late. It makes me sad. My own African brothers did this to me. This is one of the shops that was targeted a few days ago. The owners are rebuilding it with the hope of coming back here to do business. But with tensions still high in this township, are foreign nationals still willing to risk their lives? We are displaced. We don't have where to go. We don't have where to sleep. And we are suffering even to eat. They are always ready to fight and rob and chase us away. No South African shops were destroyed or looted in the protests, but the South African government insists the incidents are motivated by crime, not xenophobia. But on the streets, locals have expressed mixed reaction. No, I don't want them anymore. They must go. Why do you want them to stay? Uh, because they help us a lot. Their, their prices are less. Migrants from the rest of the African continent are constantly accused of taking jobs away from locals. It appears to be the norm that the foreigner is to blame for every ill. That resentment quickly spirals into violence. Police have increased patrols in a bid to prevent further clashes, but the incidents are not receding. A week does not go by without reports of intimidation. Xenophobia economic jealousy or crime. Whatever the label, it is a symptom of South Africa's high unemployment rate and poverty. And yet the foreign shop owners are not easily deterred. They rebuild and carry on. They too have a livelihood to make. Nom Samasego, BBC News, Johannesburg.